If you enjoy this video, then please leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And while you're here, why not check out all our other content? Thank you, and enjoy the video. Today's review is on Legacy Chromia. Now, I got this figure because I wanted a Chromia in my collection that isn't the AWFUL Siege version. So what do I think of this figure now that I have it? It's amazing, I love it! Originally, my favorite Fembot figure was Air Razor, but Chromia makes that thing look like shit in comparison. This has very quickly become my favorite Fembot figure. However, while this figure is amazing, it doesn't break the curse. For two reasons. One, while it is good, it's not perfect. And for the curse to be broken, we have to find a Fembot figure that is 100% perfect. Two, this is a repaint of Legacy Prowl. If that figure wasn't good, then this figure wouldn't be good. The design is great. Apparently, this is supposed to be the Cyberverse version, which I don't see at all. But she does fit pretty well on a G1 shelf, and I think the body fits her really well. She looks like she's wearing bulky SWAT armor, which seems appropriate for her, since she's a cop in some continuities. I'm not a fan of the bright blue shoulders. I do also have a bit of a problem with the chest. When standing up straight, the chest covers most of the face. So you have to lean her forward a bit if you want her in a neutral pose. The head is good. There is a bit of a puppet mouth, but it's not too noticeable. As for accessories, you get two ninja stars. They can be held in the left hand, and only the left hand, and they can be stored on the legs. Yeah, just throw these away and give her a gun. As for articulation, head goes up, down, left, and right, shoulders go all the way around and out, bicep rotation, elbow bend, nothing at the wrist, waist rotation, Ab crunch, leg goes up, down, and out, thigh rotation, knee bend, a second knee bend, feet are on ball joints which allows them to go up and down, rotate, and pivot. Posability is really good. Before we go on to the transformation, here she is next to my other fembots. Here she is next to Earthrise RC, Legacy Elita 1, Kingdom Black Arachnia, Kingdom Air Razor, and Piece of Shit. I mean Piece of Shit. I mean Piece of Shit. I mean Piece of Shit. I mean- <coughs> It's okay, everyone. I killed her. She can't hurt us anymore. <laughs> the transformation is mostly good. It's a bit annoying getting the front attached. I don't really know what you're supposed to do there, but the rest of it's fine. And in the end, you get a really good looking bike mode. However, it does have a bit of a problem. This figure has a kickstand, and it doesn't work. Oh, so now you want to work now that the camera's on. Okay, fuck you too. So that's Legacy Chromia. Just a really good figure. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's it for me. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, join my Discord server, donate to my Patreon if you want to, and subscribe to The Great Soundwave. I'll see you next time.